This fat man is not human. When in danger, he turns into a big boar of several hundred pounds. When he's done, he run away fast. This boar is like a tank. He rampages through the underground garage. But before he can start wreaking havoc, he's arrested by a group of mysterious agents. No one knows what's going on in this underground garage. Pasha is an ordinary courier, ordinary and commonplace, but his dreams are anything but ordinary. He always dreamt of falling from a tall building. This day he was delivering a delivery when he saw a girl. She had also appeared in his dreams. Pasha was immediately intrigued. He bribed the hotel lobby with his few banknotes. Then he was ready to see the girl of his dreams. He knocked on the girl's door, but the girl was very nervous. She approaches the door cautiously. Dagger in hand, Pasha says to the girl that it may sound silly, but I've seen you in my dreams. That door opens. The girl's name was Dana. She tells Pasha, you are my warrior and I will be your princess. Just as the two were about to continue their conversation, a group of mysterious men appeared out of nowhere. They wounded Pasha and were about to take Dana hostage. Just then, a new group of mystics appeared. Pasha dragged Dana and started to run away in the chaos. They made a long run and actually made it to the rooftop. But the mystery men were right behind them. It turns out that the mystery men are a group of vampires. And Pasha accidentally kills a vampire too. Dana was touched by Pasha's actions. She then decided straight away that this man was her warrior. Then she left and disappeared into the night. Another group of mysterious men rushed up to the rooftop. They led Pasha. Pasha straight downstairs. The mystery men sprayed a mysterious spray on Pasha. Pasha was awakened again by the dream. His memories of the previous day became very vague. He followed the fragments of his memory to the hotel. He found a bangle at the hotel. It was Dana's belongings. But Pasha was arrested again by the same men from the night before. They turned out to be from the Special Operations Division. They specialize in the paranormal. Like vampires, animal powers, and so on. These people are known as the Fox. The director thinks Pasha might be different. The director thinks Pasha could be a tracker because he was able to find Dana directly. There are very few humans like that. So they decided to bring Pasha into the fold. And they told Pasha, Dana is the princess of the vampire clan. Once Dana was united with another vampire, that man would become the leader of the fallen. All the fallen would be under his command. Dana's face and words stuck in Pasha's mind. He decided to help the princess. This older man was beating up a young man. The lad was being beaten up and screaming. This was the chief teaching Pasha how to defend herself. Just then a new supernatural phenomenon appeared. The chief took Pasha straight to the scene. It turned out that the supernatural being was a deer goblin. From his mouth, he learned it that the vampire clan would be marrying the vampire princess on the day of the total solar eclipse. Once the man has quoted the blood of the princess, the fallen will all come out and wreak havoc on the world. They needed more clues, so the director found an informant. They needed the fallen small to get information on the fallen. But the director inexplicably loses his temper at the fallen's place and leaves. Fallen told Pasha to follow her, so that Pasha's heart could help Pasha find Dana. If Pasha was in trouble, he could stand at the crossroads and shout her name three times. She would come back to help Pasha. Pasha followed the clues and found Dana once again. But Dana was locked up by the chief's men. Dana was disappointed because the man in front of her had betrayed her. Dana questioned Pasha about why she had betrayed her. She tried to fight back but couldn't do anything to Pasha. In the end Dana had to be arrested. Little did the special ops know that other vampires were coming to her door. But this train was specially built. It was very inconvenient to hold Dana in someone else's place. Thus, the chief used the weapons on the train to defeat the vampires and take the princess. By night, the vampires were having their orgy. The city was in chaos. As the fallen committed crimes all over the city, all of the special branch rushed out. They were ready to capture the fallen. Only Pasha and Dana were left behind. Pasha returns the bracelet she found in the hotel to Dana. Dana thinks Pasha is her hero. She told Pasha that Shita had always had a dream that a warrior would save her. But Dana doesn't know what that warrior looks like until Pasha appears. Just then, the vampire enters the special operations house. It turns out it was all a vampire ploy. Their intention was to take Dana away. Pasha was abandoned by the chief for this reason. Pasha rushed into the crossroads and shouted three times. The fallen from before came to Pasha's side. She told Pasha to recall his dream. Eventually Pasha finds the vampire's place. Meanwhile, the special branch was looking for the betrayer. Their place leaked because a fallen betrayed. This man threw a ball. The ball scattered and turned into a number of small beads, which send a several hundred pound board sliding straight to the ground. The special branch learned from the fallen man that the eclipse was tomorrow. 
tomorrow will be a day that will change history. And Pasha follows his dream to the vampire's place. He holds a gun and pretends to deliver a parcel. Suddenly Pasha, who had been a weak fighter, became powerful. He defeated many vampires. In the end, only one vampire remains to tie Dana up and take her to the rooftop. But this vampire was no ordinary vampire. He was the most powerful vampire of all. He will drink the blood of the princess and become the leader of the fallen. Pasha kept going up to fight the vampire and then getting knocked down. He would fight again and again and still be beaten. In the end Pasha dies with the vampire. This scene is the one that keeps coming back to him in his dreams. But the story doesn't end there. Pasha doesn't die. Dana couldn't let her warrior die because of she. So Dana made Pasha one of the vampires. Because it was the only way to save Pasha's life. And so Pasha and Dana were united. Finally he became the Lord of the Fallen. Living a different life with Dana.